Lady Fumar and David Rola. Well, here's part two of his interview right here on Strictly Last Talk. Yeah, you know, um, my primo is Oscar, Oscar de la Hoya. He's my cousin. We grew up together when we were kids. Um, we spent a lot of time in his house, my family and his family. Compartimos mucho. And I really don't like to talk about Oscar a lot, um, only because I don't want people to feel like, you know, give, give, give people the idea that, oh, well, I'm going to use Oscar to, to go get, a, get more ahead in my career, you know. But at the same time, I mean, yeah, he's my primo, and, and, and I love him to death. He's a great guy, you know, as a person and stuff. And growing up with him was cool because... We were all kids and stuff, and I remember being like six years old, and we used to go to Belvedere Park and watch him box when he was a little kid, you know? So that was a trip to be able to see that and, and see him grow up, you know, into what he is now, you know? And um, that's actually given me the inspiration to actually work hard at what I do um, as far as the music, you know? Boxing was his thing. You know, the music's always been my thing. So when he first, I remember when he first bought it, when he bought his first crib out in Montebello, I mean, we were shooting, he was there, him and my other cousins were in the shooting pool. And I remember the Ferrari, he had just gotten rims for this Ferrari that he bought. Whoa. It was like my first up close and personal view of a Ferrari, man. It was a trip. But when I walked into the garage where everybody was shooting pool, I looked up on the wall and, and this fool had a picture of me when I used to do some modeling. And it made me crack up because I never expected to walk into Oscar's house and be like, oh, damn, you know what I mean? And he, he used to clown me about it because he said, yeah, you know, my primo, the model, you know, my primo, the, the, the DJ, the rapper. And it was cool, you know, siempre nos llevamos así, bien buena onda. So it was always cool. And as, as, as a matter of fact, to this day, you know, I don't see him as much as I'd like to. But when my parents see him at some of the bites and some of the after parties and stuff, he always asks, how's David doing? How's his music doing? He gave me that drive, like I said, you know, he gave me that drive to really do something big. And, and looking at him and seeing where he's at now has actually pushed me, like I said, to work hard at what I do to be able to get ahead in life and do something real cool with, with what I'm doing, you know? The second album has a lot of content. It's, 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 it's a cool deal, man. Tatuajes is a really good album. It's a good, it's been a real good experience for me because Byron actually gave me, By Byron Vistola, who's my producer, he actually gave me the opportunity to produce the album myself, which for me is an accomplishment in its own, you know? And um, I'm very thankful to him for letting me do that. Because it, it helped me really, really dig deep into myself and uh, and do something real cool. And I didn't realize what I could do until it was done, you know? You know, there's a song in there that I did for my mom called Querida Madre. And that song is really important for me because it actually uh, it says everything that I did, you know? And it's also my song, the her thing, you know? So all the, all the stuff I put it through growing up. And uh, there's also some other cool stuff on the album, you know? There's another song on the album called uh, Dios Le Pido that I actually uh, dedicated to uh, a couple of friends of mine that passed away within the last couple of years. Uh, my friend Big Guero, who was kidnapped out in Mexico and uh, never saw him again, you know. So this album definitely has a lot of uh, a lot of love on it. It has a lot of flavor and it has a lot of me in there. Now this is a little message for all you guys that are out there working on music, doing, trying to get ahead and, and, and trying to get involved in the music industry, you know. It's a real hard business. It's very, very hard business. I've struggled through it all my life. Fortunately, I've been blessed to be where I'm at, but it's taken me a long time to get to where I'm at. And it's about paying your dues. It's about being real to the streets. It's being, being real to yourself. But you got to keep it positive. You got to keep it straight. You keep your life in the right direction. Follow, follow in the right footsteps, but don't be mis, misguided, misled. Um, don't follow the wrong path. Stay focused and just write, write, write. If you want to be an MC, just work hard at it and don't ever give up. Now performing all his hits. Let's give it up for David Rolas. Ay, 
mamita. Se ve la misma cosa porque eres tan mala, siendo tan hermosa. Oye, coqueta, déjate, digo una cosa. Con una chanchita se vuelvo loca. Te mueves tan suave con tu cuerpo divino. Te ves bien buenota con tu pelo chino en pantalón de mezclilla y falda cortita. Te veo en esos trazas y mis ojos gritan, me gritan un sí. Tus modos de ser, porque eres tan mala. Ándale, platícame. Dame un besito, un abrazo apretadito. Dame tu número y te llama ratito. Despacito, te gusta andar. Hasta el enanito le quieres dar todo el amor. Quieren hacerte, pero a la mexicana es como deseo tenerte. Me la paso. Vecindario. Ay, mamita. Por tu amor, porque juegas conmigo causándome dolor. Tú crees que haces bien siendo como eres, queriéndote a ti, viendo muchas mujeres, teniendo nada que decir, te haces la muda. Porque tú tienes duda y cada día que te veo, te me haces más buena. Platícame y dime lo que piensas. Oye, mamita, ándale, ven para acá, quiero platicar contigo. No, 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 siempre pasa por aquí nomás dándome tus ojos. Ahora sí, ahora sí. Ándale nomás. Porque te ves bien buena, hasta el hija de tu madre. Ándale, chiquita. Me haces loco. Me la paso. Vecindario. Ay, mamita. Welcome back to Strictly Vasa. I have with me my homie, David Rolas. What's up, baby? How are you? Oh, good to see you. Good to see you. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good, man. You know, just chilling, trying to trying to make some stuff happen. That's what I'm saying. How how did your fans treat you? Everybody's good, you know. I mean, we've been rocking some shows, and the fans are showing us a lot of love. So, gracias a Dios that we're able to get out there and reach some fans, you know. So, that's always love. Any, any new old girlfriends or old nah, family members coming out well, yeah, you know, you like, get, We get a lot of the family, you know, like a lot of the flat family comes through to check out and represent some of the shows, you know what I mean? But it's, it's, it's all gravy, you know. It's always good when you see a lot of people in the audience that you recognize. Right. Especially when you start doing some of the bigger shows, you know. So it's always, that's always something that I guess pumps you up, you know. You definitely want to put it down. Oh, thank sure. you. Because you're looking nice. <laughs> what do you do on your free time? You know? um, well, we do production. I, I, got a, I got a production team that I work with, a couple of cats. I got a company called Producto Music and another oh. company called Beat Machines that we, we kind of do our stuff. And, you know, we make beats and we also do beats for other artists. As well as um, we got the opportunity to produce my album as well. I also work with Breeze, you know, he's another one of the homies that we all lay it down. So we definitely all trying to do our thing. But that's that's pretty much my free time. Just kind of like, you know, I love to do music, so like, it kind of keeps me wrapped up, you know. There's no free time. Like well, free time, you know, it's cool. I mean, I like to hang. You know, right. sometimes we get a, get a chance to go out, you know. And then I have a couple of drinks with the homies, you know right. what I'm saying? And chill, maybe have a little that. barbecue, you know? Always that. Pass a couple of, you know, so we try to have a good time. But it's, as much as we can, you know, we try to get out, you know? I hear that you uh, had an English album. Yeah. Tell me, how, how is the Latin industry different from, from you know, business-wise? Well, when we got to do, you know, when I did my first album, uh, my English album with, with, with Byron, with Breeze, we did um, an album called Ground Zero, which was... My first album, and I did it as Dave Graham, which is David Rolas in, in English. Mm -hmm. So it was, you know, it was a cool experience to be able to put that album together. It was definitely a hot album. We did something really cool with it as far as the music itself. And, and we, we actually snuck, we were able to sneak in like a Spanish joint, but as far as the English stuff, it's, it's sometimes it's like, it seems like it's a lot easier to do because the Spanish, we, at the time we did the English album, like a lot of, a lot of the labels didn't 
didn't understand the Spanish stuff, so they didn't know how to market it. They didn't know how to how to present it to how to put it out there. You know what I mean? They didn't know that there was an audience for it. And now that we're doing the Spanish stuff, it just seems like a lot of people are ready for it now. You know what I mean? And it's better late than never. You know what I'm saying? But it's actually been we've been fortunate that everybody that hears our stuff has actually showed us a lot of love. So it's actually a good thing. You know? It's good to see that the labels are paying attention to us now. Yeah, definitely finally coming out. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? Uh, any other English albums, maybe? In the yeah, you know. Future? I mean, after after we after we get done with doing some of the Spanish stuff, I gotta I wanna do a couple more albums in Spanish, and then maybe maybe we can we can work on a little English album. But I definitely wanna keep doing some stuff in Spanish. I got a couple other artists that I'm working with as well. I got a reggaeton cat named J Rock that I'm working with, and right. I'm producing his stuff and. And you know, so we're working. I mean, I, I think we might do an English album sometime in the, in the long run. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. right now, I'm gonna keep doing some Spanish stuff and 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 definitely keep doing some stuff for the raza. You know? So uh, how about any projects right now that you're working on? Um, well, like I said, J Rock, J Rock's one of them. Um, I got a couple of other R&B artists that we're working with, my girl Cookie okay. and another cat. Right. Um, a couple of different cats that we got, and we're trying to put a little group together as well. So it, I'm definitely keep busy, you know, as far as what we're trying to do. But what I'm really focused on, I think what my biggest focus right now is definitely promoting my records, okay. um, promoting the first album still, you know, Nuestra Vida, which, you know, it's like once you have an album out, you don't stop promoting it, you right. know what I mean? You just keep spreading love. And then I also do, um, you know, promoting, definitely promoting the second album, Tatuaje. So we, we, we're trying to keep busy just doing that right now. I'm trying to stay focused as well, you know, because it's you something know, you got to do. Yeah. yeah. The industry is a little Struggle. Yeah, yeah, you know how that goes. So I want to thank you for coming out. You know, we love having you here. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. It's always a pleasure to be here. Are you going to do another song for us? Yeah, for sure. All I'm right. rocking another mic for you guys. Great. Okay. <laughs> Right. Una noche bailando, compa. Con 
Another fat show. Don't forget to tell your friends about it. Same time.